Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. Yeah, and we welcome you to Mornings with Brian and Tyler. Today we are in Proverbs 19, 22, and 23. Tyler. What is desired in a man is kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of the Lord leads to life, and he who has it will abide in satisfaction. He will not be visited with evil. All right. So New Revised says what is desirable in a person is loyalty. And it is better to be poor than to be a liar. Loyalty, kindness, that's the opposite of a liar, though. Someone, I just told them that because I didn't want to hurt their feelings. Yeah, that's not kindness. That person may have asked you that question because maybe they genuinely wanted an, an honest answer. But maybe because you lied to them and said, oh, no. That looks X, Y, Z for you. Now they're going to go someplace and people are going to mock them and laugh at them and say how stupid they look. Congratulations. You weren't being kind. You're disloyal. And you're a hater. Now see, no, no, this doesn't mean you have the right to go around and go, Well, Tyler, that shirt and those shorts, that's a terrible color combination. You look like an idiot. No, 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 no. That's not being a true teller. That's being a jerk. But if Tyler says to me, what do you think of my outfit? Frankly, brother, I think your color coordination is horrible. And he said, what do you really think? I think I don't care. If he's happy with his shirts and his shorts, I don't care. Because nobody has to see me in them today because it's karate day. That's right. Lime green shorts, black shirt. Whatever. You know? Not what I'd wear, but that's why Tyler has Tyler's clothes and I have my clothes. That and we're two totally different sizes. Um, but it is better to be, is it? So no, it's better to be poor to be a liar. Oh, the world might say, no, you're better off to be rich however you have to get there. Okay. Yeah, that one won't play out for too awful long. Fear of the Lord's life indeed. Uh, filled with it, one rests secure and suffers no harm. Why? Well, either you can fear the Lord or you can fear man. If I go around robbing, stealing, and killing, all right, guess what? He said, Well, you don't have the fear of the Lord, no. But I promise you, when the investigators you know, figure out who's been stealing, cheating, and killing. And they show up. They will not show up with teddy bears saying, Hi, can we talk to you about all those people you murdered? No, they show up with instruments of fear. The fear of the Lord is self-governing. This is the danger when people said, I don't need God to have morality. Well, no, because someone who already had God taught you morality, you dinglings. Mm -hmm. And so you did know what was right and wrong. And so, yeah, you're right. You probably didn't need it. But then your kids or your grandkids came along and nobody taught them right or wrong. And oh, wait, look at the way our society is. Congratulations. Nothing is self-governing. The fear of the Lord. There's a point to it because, well, it it works. It works. Thoughts, comments, questions? No, sir. All right, with Adam Brian Reagan, this is Tyler Kelly. We bid you good morning.